Here we are. Hello, everybody. Happy Thursday or Friday to our Australians. Good afternoon, morning, evening. How you guys doing? Uh, I am once again joined by my canine co-host. I had to encourage him to be in that bed, but he does seem to have accepted his fate. I wanted to mix it up with a cat cam, but the cat has decided that this week she just wants to sleep in our bed, which is well out of reach of the webcam for a good reason. Uh, we had a one-year resub from Black Mental Leoden during the countdown. Thank you very much, Grats, in the one year. And Terralegia with the four-month resub. Appreciate it. Are you doing Maldraxxus? Oh, is it up yet? Last time I saw, um, last time I saw it, it was being data mined, but the servers weren't up. But then again, it's been a few hours since I've checked. Got a cup of tea along with some chocolate biscuits for dunking, all set for the stream. <laughs> I bet you all play online video games. What are we, a bunch of gamers? <sighs> Oh boy. So today I don't, I, I have a couple of, um, I have a couple of <laughs> different potential ideas. I figured I probably wanted to do some form of mount farming because that's kind of what I'm doing in the game these days is just working towards chasing down various goals. Uh, Dead Sandra with the raid. Welcome guys. Thank you. We did get this mount. We got this mount yesterday. I'm editing the stream highlight into a half highlight, half guide, half not what not to do to put out on the channel tomorrow. Um, I reviewed the footage actually of when we first cast the lasso in this thing. And I swear the cast finished. I see the frame of the cast finishing. It must have just barely outranged me because it was really, really close. Um, it, yeah, something along those lines. Uh, Turned on the stream, the wife yelled at me, asking what raid I'm trying to take. <laughs> Say thank you for the guides, both raids and mounts. Saved my butt many times. Cheers. Dances with Wolves, thank you for the six-month reset. Hazel, continuing to enjoy your streams as usual. Thank you for a lovely community. That's all you guys. I can't take credit for that. Hello, everyone. I am here now. So today, I figure I want to do... Well, want is a strong word. I'm probably going to do one of these three things. I shouldn't. I shouldn't disparage it too much. I am, I am perfectly content to do any of these things because these are all kind of mount goals that I'm working towards right now. I'm just either maybe getting a little bit sick. I had one of those days where you wake up and you just feel absolutely dead. I slept an extra two hours this morning and it didn't help at all. <laughs> or I'm just being slowly possessed by like a swamp spirit. Also seems like a plausible thesis theory, not a thesis. Anyways, so I put together this poll. This was what the free stream ASMR was. I was typing this up. I figure I'm going to go ahead and create the poll. I'll link it in chat. I'll give it a minute. You guys can vote. Um, options being horrific visions to try to get the mail muncher. LFG arena <laughs> to work towards the vicious mount. There's no way that we get the vicious mount today. I'm only 30% in, but I could make some progress. Or camping veil assault rare, such as Hound Lord Ren and... Ande the Loyal for the sake of their rare mount drops. So I'm going to put this poll up and see what you guys want because I don't know. <laughs> I'll link it in chat a few times here. And I'm just going to give this, uh, let's say like three minutes uh, for voting. I'm going to set a timer and then in the meantime we can just chit chat, figure out what's up. Clock, timer, three minutes? Sure, let's do that. This will absolutely frighten me when it goes off and I forget that I've set a timer. Uh, this mount that I'm on right now, we got this one yesterday. This was from the Pandaria Salt area, as you said. This is the Ivory Cloud Serpent that you get for using the Xantian Lasso on an Ivory Cloud Serpent. Uh, Gaming with Lerna, thank you very much for the 11 month reset. Appreciate it. Almost a year. Oh man, are you excited for Shadowlands? I'll get there. I'll get there. It seems nice. It looks good so far. So far, so good. Although I, al I, I always say that. It, it, it's, it's quickly losing weight with me. I always think it looks good. Uh, so excited to watch your stream yesterday, but being too exhausted, couldn't stay up till midnight, but I am ready today, hopefully. Uh, Asmin watched the B-Mount guide and got his B-Mount. Oh, did he? That's good. In one day, that's a fast grind. Uh, I don't care what you do in, in game, just happy to have the voice fill the room. Well, depending on what I do, my voice may be more or less agitated, more or less conversational. I would say that the chatty stream would be the camping the rares, the medium chatty stream would be the horrific visions, and then the we check in with each other in two hours <laughs> would be LFG, because that's just going to be me uh, quietly panicking for two hours and trying to get some progress in, and also tanking my threes writing, which might be a good thing, because I don't really... 
need you don't need to queue at any particular rating except for just above 1400 and i could stand a tank a couple hundred and just make the whole thing easier lantern thank you very much for the two month reset appreciate it oh the followers gave him jelly oh that'll do it that'll do it <laughs> hey hazel how are you up, wes i'm doing pretty good i'm doing all right Blizzard killing me with hiding the release date of Shadowlands. I wouldn't be surprised if they don't know yet, um, because there's, you know, it's game development, it's messy. I imagine that they, as soon as they know something they can commit to and not have to move, they'll tell us. But imagine how ugly it would be if they put out a release date and then a month out they were like, um, we can't make it. You know, we don't, nobody wants that. Let's see. Uh, Jizome, thank you very much for the tip. Let me pull up my dashboard here. Also, I got a little bit of a, I got a little bit of, here, I'll link the poll again a few times. Oh, a tea that I need to be drinking. Let's see. Recent events. Uh, what mods do you use for pet battles? I noticed the ones you use in videos are mostly out of date. They may be out of date, but I haven't stopped using them. Um, I still use Rematch, Pet Journal Enhanced, and Pet Tracker are my three pet battle add-ons. And I've used those for many years. To my knowledge, they have been updated. Let me see. Uh, so let's uncheck this. And let's see, pet add-ons. So rematch is up to date. So that one's so far so good. That's the most important one. That's the one that lets me save my pet teams and automatically load them. Uh, pet tracker, pet tracker, pet tracker, pet tracker. How, how does the alphabet work? A, B, C, D. There it is. Pet tracker seems fine. And pet journal enhanced is not fine, but does seem to still work. Um, does seem to still work. So loud. All right, let's see how this uh, let's see how this poll turned out. Pull it over here. Results. What do we got? Aha. <laughs> As I suspected, that sounds about right. 101 votes. 43% uh, of you want to see Veil vale Assault Rare, so that's what we're gonna do. Let me adjust my stream title. Um, camping Veil vale Assault Rares. And my rating lives another day. All right, so let's head out to Vale, and I'll show you which rares were camping and talk a bit about my strategy. And by that, I mean just checking LFG. Well, we got to get out to Vale first. I should probably do some dailies too while I'm out there. Well, hmm. uh, I'm still making big changes to classes and covenant abilities. They probably don't even know when they'd be done. I, I've never, I don't work for Blizzard and never have, and I don't really have personal friends that are like on the WoW team because I just don't really have friends but I would imagine if they work anything like any other place I've worked <laughs> or seen work, they're doing their best and it'll be done when it's done. Um, it's, you know, you can, you can make, I'm going the wrong way. You can make the best plans ever and you can put great people on them. And there's just so many variables. You, you, there's, there's really no telling until a bit later. Um, I would guess that we're going to see Shadowlands out in November. That's my best guess. We'll see. Just kill Hylia and Lightbringer. Which Veil mounts do you still need? Everything except... So I'm talking specifically Assault Veil because I do have my Alani mount already. Um, I've had that one for at least an expansion now, I think. So I'm not doing like Sky Shards or anything. But if we go Veil, the Eternal, this is the easiest way to do it. So what is this? That's like challenge modes, right? You can't get that anymore. <laughs> I should hide that one. Um, so the Rajani War Serpent, that is the one for the scale. That scale drops from Ray Lun. We have the Stalwart Hound, that could drop from Hound Lord Ren. We have Jin Lao, that can drop from Ande. And then Hali, which can drop from Hali. So four rares, essentially. And I have a number of characters that can do this. So the plan, I think, is to pick one wait by its spawn point, but then be continually refreshing LFG to look for listed groups that have that rare up. I think that's going to be the best way to do it. Hazel, I heard you tried Ivory Cloud Serpent yesterday. I couldn't join the stream. Any luck? I did get lucky. It was a bit messy. I'll have a video up on YouTube tomorrow. Um, the mount spawned. My macro worked. My macro channeled, and just at the last second it didn't finish, and neither did it finish for any of the other, like, 36 people that were camping with me. The mount gets away. 36 of us fly off as though through molasses with our incredibly slow debuffs, looking for this thing. Eventually, it kind of circles back around in its path. 
Some of us catch up to it, including myself, and some of us get the mount, was how that story ended. But I did get it. I was, I was one of the lucky ones. <sighs> Joker's making my heart palpitate. He's so cute. Oh, he heard you. Or he heard me say his name. Look, look, look at him. I've noticed that he has learned, and I won't, I won't um, bait him with this, but he has learned what it sounds like when I start saying my typical stream outro and he'll like start getting up, which is funny because it's not like there's anything that happens for him. I don't like, well, I do feed him and take him out during the day. I don't do either of those things right when I finish my stream. I usually get up and then I go into my living room and I like fall onto the couch or like sit on the floor or something for a while. <laughs> You know, and then um, and then just move on with my day. It very rarely means anything for him, but he's like, oh, man, she's done. And then he gets up. And uh, and I always thought that was kind of cute because that was something actually that I saw once upon a time on a clip from Sidu's stream is his goldens know when he's ending his stream. And it was the cutest thing ever. And I'm like, man, does this make me a real streamer? All I need is just a bunch of golden retrievers. OK, so this add on that is putting these stars on my map that I believe is Tomcat's Tours. Uh, works, I think it works with handy notes, and that shows me both where the rares are and if there's anything that they can give me, we'll give it a little thing so I can see Ande's got Jinlao, uh, Hound Lord Ren has the Hound, you've got uh, Raylun who's all the way in the bottom of that big vault thingy with the Rajani War Serpent, and then um, Ha Lee. So I figure I'm going to start at the bottom. Let's go hang out by um, Ande, and the nice thing about this one is that there is a zone-wide yell when he does spawn, so uh, you do at least know. However, eh, I mean, you know, it's not that slow of a kill. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to keep an eye on LFG. So if anybody finds him up on their server, um, I am in war mode off. And I'm probably going to stay that way because I'm not looking for that kind of stream. But um, here, I should be custom find. Um, and then this is on day. Uh, and the real, the real kicker is anticipating... What are people going to spell? Like, somebody's got Ishak up there, but that's not where we are this time. If we get through all the veiled ones, then we... Oh, warm it off. Why did that not see... Oh, no, I had it spelled wrong. It's A-N-H, not A-H-N. I wonder if he's still going to be up. That, that group was up for a while. Oh, he's up! Wow, look at this. So the plan for today, essentially, is to do all of the available rares on my priest, if possible. You know, there, we may have to wait for spawns if we can't find groups. And then I can just rotate onto my next available alt, bring them out here, do the same thing. I can do this all day. I have like, you know, 12, 15 level 120s. That's not going to be my limiting factor. So that, I did not get it. That was my third attempt for the mount. But that was a nice, fast um, finding of a spawn. So I'm going to thank whoever made that group. Uh, thank you very much. And let's move on to uh, Hound Lord. Well, Hound Lord Ren, shall we? We'll go hang out by Hound Lord. Now that one does pat, so that might be a little trickier to get to. My dog does that too. His alarm clock goes off at four sharp and he just sits next to me staring like you done now. How's Joker been doing lately? Much, much, much better. He seems totally fine now. He's off all of his anti-inflammatories. He's eating again. Um, just fine. He seems very good. He's, he's uh, a bit upset with me whenever we don't do like the full, the full Monty walk, but we, uh, I've been, I've been taking him out pretty far. Uh, the weather has been just so, um, let's see, what would it be the best thing? Probably Ren, yeah. Probably searching for Ren or Hound Lord. Hound? Hmm. That's the thing, is figuring out what people are going <laughs> to... I, it's, it's a bit rich that I was like, man, I wonder how people are going to misspell Ande. What, what am I going to have to type in? And then I had it misspelled. Who am I? Leave. Uh, so that's the same Ishak group. Just kind of looking through. Um, lots of people doing Voldoon, farm, Voldoon Mount Farms. That's nice. I'm glad those groups are still around. I was worried that... Um, they would have really, like, <laughs> people are still doing, fi well, this, this one person is still doing Fisher Friend. Um, I was worried that it would have uh, become much harder to get into a farming group for those later on. So let's just say Ren, and then we're just going to hang out around here and refresh it now and then. Um, I suppose I could make a targeting macro. The star is over here. I know he does patrol up and down by the gate. Um, I don't know if he spawns here precisely. I just got to find a good, a good camping spot. I got spoiled by how easy that first one was. Hum, baby, thank you very much for the seven-month reset. Appreciate it. Hello. Search Ren, easiest? Okay, okay. <laughs> I can do this all day. After watching your stream yesterday, I also got the Ivory Cloud Serpent. Thanks for the good luck. Got you. 
uh, switch between Hound and Ren. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's a good sign for the health of the game that the general... Um, hey, get out of here. Um, advertising. I think it's, it's good for the health of the game that the general... Uh, you know, custom tab of the LHE group finder is pretty full. You know, look at this. This is not a dead game. Oh, Ray Lunza. Um, well, they just have one person. I wonder if they need help. I wonder, like, maybe I should just, I'm not that far. Um, if they, if they haven't pulled it yet and they need me, then I could get there. The question is, maybe they, like, already killed it and moved on with their life and forgot they had a group listed. Um, but if they do need me, then I can be on my way and I will not embarrass myself by forgetting how the funny floor thing works. I actually have not been <laughs> accepted to this group yet. All right, so these will speed me up. Uh, you know, maybe we're camping Raylan next because I'm already coming all the way down here. And it looks like the safe one is the cloudy one. So I'm gonna actually just kill this trash for now because I haven't even gotten into the group yet. This mount is the one that I am, I think, least confident in and least enthused by because it is a reason it seems like a reasonably long spawn timer on the rare plus it's a rare that is not easily soloable by everybody certainly not by any of my characters and then it's at the bottom of like a really big crazy hull so it's tough to even get people to help you with it and then it's not a great drop rate on the scale either there's like a lot of factors working against you with this one and it's for a cloud serpent recolor that in all likelihood, I may not even run. All right, so purple clouds are okay. So as long as we are walking on purple clouds um, and not getting toasted by the big smashy boy, we should be fine. Uh, I said purple. I didn't mean it. That's not purple. <laughs> I hopefully know what colors are. Um, that will stun you. The last time I came down here, I didn't pay any regard to the um, the floor at all and I just ran straight across because my friend had just I, I just seen a bunch of other people run straight across and they like took some damage but they popped some cooldowns and then they just healed at the other end and they were fine and I tried running across and my little squishy clothy shadow priest sneeze of a body just pff, gone dead toast um all right Rayloon, war mode off. War mode off, war mode off. Well, at least there's lots of groups up for it, that's something. Uh, let's see. Are we, are they on it? Oh, he's up. Ah! Oh no! Oh no! <sighs> well, <laughs> guess that's not the one. Mm. Round two, war mode off. Um, that one, I think, is... Well, which one did I just... I just want to make sure I'm not joining one that was... Uh, old. I'm skeptical of the 10 minute ago one. Especially if that's potentially the one that I already joined. Oh, no, that's the, that's the old one. Okay, let's see. Maybe this is better. Alright, so he is up. That's good. There are at least two of us here. Off to a good start. <laughs> Maybe I should park some characters down here. I mean, I guess I could do that with any of the assault rares and do the same thing. It's just with this one in particular, I feel like it would be more satisfying to park a bunch of characters down here. You don't have any rep requirement, right? Like once you get the scale, you can turn it into the vendor regardless of your rep with them as long as you have them unlocked, I think. Hey Ben, with a brand new sub, welcome. Welcome to the Squirrel Squad, Ben. Appreciate it. <laughs> What's Joker dreaming about? I imagine something where he's outside chasing something. That is a, a dream he does not really get to live and that I imagine he would want to. All right, here we go. <laughs> Happens every time, man. Hazel, I'm having trouble deciding for a marksman hunter. Should I stack mastery or versa in gems? Not a clue. I am the wrong person to ask. If it was me, I would Google strat priority for marksmanship hunter and I would cross-reference the two best results. Um, I will typically take a look at both Icy Veins and Wowheads, check what they're recommending, and make sure they agree. And if they agree, then I'll just follow that recommendation. If they don't, then I follow whichever one is comfiest to me. <laughs> They'll take that scale off anybody that has it? Yeah, okay. I just, I imagine, like, if I'm gonna do a bunch of farming. I feel like it would be almost more fun to do a bunch of characters on one boss in a row. 
At least this one, it seems like you can get groups up for it. So far, anyways. Laundry Matt, thank you very much for the brand new sub. Welcome to the Squirrel Squad. <laughs> Look at his baby paws. If it was me, I'd play PM. I think Mark's Bonner's fun. I don't know if it's better, but I think it's fun. Uh, the rainbow from behind me is from my my prismatic bobble. Icy veins, wow head. Go to wow logs. Check the highest DPS. Oh, that's another good tip, too. Uh, does completing a Dissolve Assault give you gold? Done them a couple times, not getting any gold from the caches. So, sometimes, I think, is the answer. And when is unclear? The latest working theory... Oh! Wow! Sometimes you just have to talk about moving a bunch of characters down there. All right. We've only been up for like 20 minutes. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Thanks, universe. I'll take it. <laughs> a second, no, no, first try. You are right. That was my first try. I was going to say second try, but no, that first one where I didn't tag it didn't count. You know what? Maybe the first one didn't have it for me, but that one did. You know, it's all good. How many attempts was that? Uh, are you going to hate me? Uh, two. <laughs> Two, pristine cloud serpent scale found after two attempts is the answer to that question. <laughs> Ooh, a chest, look at that. Um, sometimes you get real lucky, ow, oh no, I, I deserve that, I had that coming. <laughs> I can't complain about that one bit. Okay, well, off to a good start. There's no way I can get another mount in the same stream, right? Like, <laughs> this is just, that can't be how this works. Okay, I mean, we do have an extra hour and a half to try, so we're gonna go do, uh, we're gonna try to find up a Hound Lord Ren, we're gonna try to find up a Hali, and, am I missing one? Ren, Hali, and, no, yeah, maybe that's it. Those green runes on the ground activate nightmare PTSD for me. 50% uh, drop rate confirmed. Half of the time, you get it every time. Your new nail art look nice. Maybe you want to dig up my nail varnish. Oh, did you like that? So, to be honest, okay. Um, now that I've been given the slightest bit of an in, I will proceed to speak about something not interesting at all for at least 10 minutes. So last week, I've, I have a new uh, self-care ritual where I spend like three hours every Monday on my day off doing my nails because that's my latest hobby. I can't really explain it. But it's just really fun. It's really fun. So last Monday, I have these stamping plates because that's the thing that's been most exciting to me. It's been nail stamping. I have these stamping plates and I have this one that's got like all of these like coffee and tea designs on it, like little tea bags and teapots and coffee beans and stuff. And on Monday, I gave myself a manicure with them and I spent three hours on it and it looked like trash. I hated it. Um, it wasn't the hold of the plates. The stamping worked fine. It's just I had very bad design decisions. I had chosen um, polishes that did not have enough contrast. The designs were not standing out. It just looked bad. So yes, yesterday, last night, I looked at my hands and I was like, enough is enough. I'm trying again. It's too soon, but I'm trying again. So I took it all off and I tried again with the same plates. And to be honest with you, I still hate them, but I hate them a little bit less, which is progress. This hand is much better than this hand because I did this one second. But the, um, the, the one that I put on Instagram, um, I've got like a little coffee bean like a little coffee bean design on the thumbnails. I did both of my thumbs like that. And those ones are nice. Those are kind of cute. The rest of it's kind of trash. Um, are there any cute ones I can show you? This one's okay. That's just like a little latte art in like a metallic. Uh, that's not gonna focus. It's so tiny. They're so little. Um, it's a little latte art in like a metallic polish. That one's okay. Uh, this is like the, the most standing out little teapot. No, you're never gonna be able to see. I got like some teapots and teacups and stuff. There's like a little box of tea in my pinky finger, but I don't think the colors look good again. This one's okay. I've got like a little sugar jar. Don't mind me. I promise I'm not flipping you off. Um, a little sugar jar on there. I think that's kind of cute, but like, eh, I can do better. All right, that has been my nail art interlude. I promise I'll shut up now. Willem, all thank you very much for the 500 bits. Appreciate it. Uh, thank you for your videos here and on YouTube. Your lovely dog reminds me of my family Siberian Husky from growing up. Keep up the good work. Oh, thanks. Hey, cute doggy. Doggy's doing pretty good. Doggy's doing pretty good. Uh, <laughs> give us a wave. Can't paint my nails a solid color. Have them look decent. Oh, me neither. Um, my hands were a war zone. It looked like somebody had let a toddler play with a bunch of ink. Um, just polished like up to my wrists. I'm a, I'm a tragedy. 
Um, the, the nice thing is acetone takes it all off, so you just have to be careful. I have a big mat that I put down so I don't ruin my table. Uh, let's buy this war serpent. <laughs> Um, I just get polish everywhere and then I clean it off my skin later. All right. Well, that's that one done. <laughs> Typical YouTuber spending a lot of time on her thumbnail art. How did I not think of that one first? Uh, teapot's cute. I just really like the, um, I think the plate is really good and I want to make it look like it does in my head, but I th I'm working with limited stamping polishes and I'm restraining myself from just buying like a hundred of them because I, I know this is probably a phase. Um, but yeah, it's, it's fun. So what are, what's, now what? <laughs> now what? Something smells like food. Am I hungry? I don't think I'm hungry. I've, um, my lunches are getting increasingly weird. For lunch today, I had, like, a little thing of, like, mac and cheese, like, craft dinner, basically. Um, this is slightly, um, uncultured of me, I guess. But I really like craft dinner mac and cheese. It's like a, I had it growing up as a kid. So it's like a favorite comfort food of mine. However, I'm either allergic to it or it just barely qualifies as food because if I eat very much of it, I feel like absolute garbage. It's terrible. So I've discovered that they sell these boxes that have these individual packets of noodles and, um, and the powder that it's like for kids, they call it Easy Mac, you make it in the microwave. But it's great because it's the right serving size where I can enjoy some mac and cheese, but it's not going to make me super sick. And it's also not quite enough food for lunch, so then I can go in and supplement with like vegetables and fruit and stuff. So today for lunch, I had one of those of like mac and cheese, but then also a bunch of cherries and then a carrot. <laughs> And I roasted the carrot. A roasted carrot plus cherries plus mac and cheese. That's just, you know, find that on a menu somewhere. I, um, I roasted it in the instant. No, not the instant pot, the air fryer. I'm figuring out how it fits into my life. What am I doing? I'm looking for Wren. We're, we're camping up for Hound Lord Wren. I am not quite in the right spot. I'm tempted to make a target macro, but if he spawns, I'll see it on my mini map, hopefully. Um, I'm just, I guess my, um... Oh, you know what? I'm not riding the right. I'm not riding the right serpent. Let's see, Rajani. I need to ride my new one. Uh, this is the new one. Set favorite. Mount it. Look at that. We never even. We never even took a good look at it. That's the. That's the Raylun war, war serpent. <sighs> I wish I could do that. Polish chips off too soon for me to bother with nail art. I used to have that problem. It works a lot better for me. When I dehydrate my nail before I polish, I will wipe it down with either some acetone or some rubbing alcohol on a Q-tip and then not put bringing polish all the way to the cuticle, leaving a little gap. And then, um, what else do I do? I wear gloves when I'm washing dishes. Uh, water is your, water is the enemy, which is kind of rough right now, especially with all the hand washing, but, um, water will get absorbed into your nails which changes their shape and doing that will weaken the bond that the polish has onto your nail so like when i take bubble baths now i'll just leave my hands out of the water that kind of thing um i found has helped me at least stretch my my manicures out for like a week all i need is seven days and they can look kind of iffy on the last couple days i just need them to look mostly good for seven days because i'm going to want to do them again at the end of the week anyways <sighs> Sounds gourmet. Angry serpent's gonna kill you. They are mad at me. I wonder if they're just jealous because I'm just so, so very cute on this thing. Uh, can confirm Canadian PC. Oh, the President's Choice stuff from, uh, from what, Superstore? I don't know if I ever tried that. <laughs> yeah, people mentioned the B-Man thing. So there war serpent creeping up in your new mount. It's, uh, popular. I need to be continuing to check the group finder is the thing. Um... This one, I believe, is going to be a little bit tougher to get a group for because it's not a tough rare. It's pretty easily soloable. So I imagine many people, when they find this rare, they're just going to kill it. They're not going to stop to uh, to post a group to get other people in on it. Um, and it also patrols a little bit. I'm really tempted to make a macro. I don't know why I feel like I would feel better with a targeting macro. Clearly, I'm going to see it up. I guess another thing I could do is I can also... I wish I could search for multiple terms here, because if I could do that, I would also like to search for Hali. Um, but uh, I guess the best way to do it, it would be just to completely refresh, completely refresh the, uh, the group finder once it's gotten less mad at me and then like look through it. He's angry because you're going full Pokemon on their bros. <laughs> Uh, go for Holly first as one set spawn. Found an LFG with Hound. Like right now or just in general? Mm. Uh, 
does he spawn on the star? Does he spawn up where Tomcats has it listed? Because if it spawns here, then I can just like sit here and refresh. Maybe like right here seems like a fairly safe place to be. Make a group. If I make a group, then I can't search for groups. And if I don't have a spawn up for it, there's no benefit to, ow, <laughs> there's no benefit to camping in a group. Um, it's not like the yesterday's had an actual, uh, ow, 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 so mean. Um, I mean, I guess I can, oh, oh, it's up, it's up, it's up. All right, so I'm gonna make a group now. I'm gonna be that person. All right, ow, oh boy, oh boy. I'm gonna disperse. I'm gonna use a potion. Um, back, start. Houndlord, Ren. Ah, move! Oh my goodness, it's really hard to type! I <laughs> Don't mind me! Oh, I really hope it's still up when I get back. I was just trying to list a group. <laughs> hmm, okay. Alright, he's still up. Um, Houndlord, Ren. Up, war mode off, list. There we go. And then I'm going to uh, res and I'm going to buff myself. Oh, and then I'm gonna invites, invites, and I'm just gonna keep moving. Invites, 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 convert, sure, yep. Um, there's no reason we can't do this in a raid. <laughs> I can't believe it just spawned in front of me. Um, I mean, streamer luck. Oh, oh, somebody pulled, okay. I'm just gonna tag it and not do any more damage than necessary. Keep the, keep the dot up on it. I don't know what happens if you tag something, but then you like get out of combat because you haven't hit it in a while. So I like to reapply just every now and then, just in case. I guess I could just go whack it with my staff. Oh, he's gonna kick me. <laughs> All right, once he gets down below about 10%, I'm gonna, I'm gonna delist about right now because I would hate for people to join and then not get there in time because he's, he's about to go down. <laughs> there we go. And uh, no mount for me. However, is anybody else going to get lucky? There is quite a few people here. Black Empire cloth gloves. <laughs> mm. No dice. Worth a try, though. All right. Now what? Holly. <laughs> Time to invoke streamer luck again. Those serpents are mean. All this chaos deserves another mount drop. Uh, how do you get to Argus as an alt nowadays? I'm having difficulty finding it. Oh, I know this one because I did this because I was trying to set up alts for Argus for mount farming. You have to do, shoot, there's a scenario that you have, like you have to skip something. It's not, it doesn't take as much work as you think, but there is like a quest you have to go find. Oh, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not, I'm not gonna remember it clearly enough to give you a good, a, a good idea. I would try to see if Wowhead has an article somewhere. Um, there's, there's a there's a there's a prerequisite quest you have to do. So that's just by Master Hula. That's not the one that we need. Um, Holly ends up here, but actually pats around the mountain first. Um, we're just gonna start find a group, and we're just gonna search for Ha, which is I think gonna pull up a lot of things. But it should at least pull pull up Holly. I don't know how you misspell Holly without including a Ha. This is an information video you can do. Oh, on how to get to Argus results. Got Jikun today, my 556th mount. You are on fire with that. Mm. You forget to engage the gas pedal for mount luck. Uh, let's see. Got Holly on my first try. It's pretty good. I think that of the, um, of the veil, veil of, no, this, I'm gonna hide this one. I'm <laughs> it's just gonna hurt my feelings. Um, of these, of these mounts, Holly's definitely the one that I think I like the most. The hounds are nice enough, but I have, um, I have Quillen already. Like I have the Imperial Quillen from the Mop Collector's Edition. I also have the Island Expedition Quillen as well. Um, what's that? They call that Chinchos. Um, I have that one too. So the other two are very nice and I will be happy to get them eventually, but they're, they are recolors. So it's not, oh, warm mode off. Yes. Wow, this is not so bad. I figured I would, I was reticent, reluctant hesitant even. I'm just a thesaurus, not a real stream. Um, I was he hesitant to do this kind of, kind of stream because I was worried it would just be me standing in front of a spawn point 
for 45 minutes per spawn, getting like three mount kills or three rare kills in a given stream and then just having to fill air in between that. But it seems that with Group Finder anyways, this is a, a decent thing to do and we can probably rotate at least a couple of characters through. So is this the last one that I need for today? I think this is the last one, at least on this, on this priest. I think after this, I got to switch characters. Everyone kills Heli halfway up the mountain for some reason, so everyone can get knocked off. Impatience. No one counts total mounts, it's totally usable. Uh, how rare is the Ivory Cloud Serpent? I've had the item for it forever a month now, but haven't seen the mob. So the mob spawns every, like, I would say one to three hours. Both times I've found it, it has been 90 minutes after I've started looking. I did not get the mount, and I don't see anybody else with it here either. Um, both times I've gotten it, it's been 90 minutes after I started looking. <sighs> um, it's going to be easier to get if you can get onto its spawn point, which is easier said than done, and mash a macro with the item, um, as long as you are at the correct elevation, you should be able to get it in theory. <laughs> you know, didn't work that way for me, but. Uh, all right, yeah, and I'm time to, unless I want to camp to Shara for the Transmogu refire, which doesn't seem that important to me, I think I'm ready to switch to my next character. So I'm gonna just uh, hearth her home. Got it first spawn that I was present. I would absolutely say that you're better off spawn camping than you are just kind of hoping that you see it up in the sky, unless you play on an extremely dead server. Um, I've also heard people say that there is a guaranteed spawn. It guaranteed spawns right when the Mogu Assault becomes active. So if you can wait for when the Mogu Assault is going to begin again and be at the spawn point right when it happens, supposedly that guarantees it as well. Sat for 11 hours, missed five spawns. Go a little west of the actual spawn point, can't target it as soon as it spawns. That seems like a good call. <laughs> Being just slightly ahead of it um, seems probably smart. I think that might have helped me had I done it that way. So which character? Probably this one. Um, she is definitely set up for Veil because I was doing dailies on her. Um, you don't, I don't need, I'm not good at this druid, but that's fine. I just need to be able to tag the rares um, and get into groups for them. Like 10 people hanging around. I was there for like 30 minutes. Spawns in like three hours. Rayloon's about one hour. Uh, the add-on showing the stars in the map is Tomcat's tours. Oh, thanks Lux. You got it. Mm. This tea. I have been looking. I am in a phase, I think, where I'm seeking out the cheap comforts of home of my youth. And in addition to craft dinner, um, I've been craving like real cheap basic orange pico tea and for some reason i went to buy i wanted to buy some on the grocery trip this week and i just could not for the life of me find any it's like america just doesn't know what that means or at least not at the <laughs> the chain grocery store i went to i'm sure i could find it at like a specialty shop but at the chain store no orange pico but you know what they did have was they had a tetley british blend and it said it was a, a mix of assam and ceylon teas or a salmon something else. Anyways, it sounded very similar to the makeup of Orange Bico tea, and I'm like, well, I guess I'll try this. And I don't know if it's exactly the same thing they've just rebranded, but if you told me that was true, I would believe you. It tastes pretty similar. On spawn, like three hours. Raylan's about one hour. I have not got midnight yet. No, that one, that is the grind that I am reserving purely for Tuesdays. That is my sacred Tuesday mount, mount grind. I will do that on Tuesdays and Tuesdays alone. They do guarantee spawn in the assault reset. I killed Raylan that way. Uh, Zoom, thank you very much for the 11 month reset. Appreciate it. So I guess I am going to do, I mean, if I can just find them at my leisure that way, the way that we just did, then I would probably camp the outdoor ones first and then do Raylan last so I can hearth out of that big cave thing. That sounds good. Are Mogu mantid always in the same order? I could probably camp on Saturday, but not Wednesday night. That I do not know. Orange Bacot is a grade of tea, not a type or flavor. Oh. That, that is something I did not know. Let's go do some learning. Orange Pico, orange Pico tea. You know what else I found out last night? Just fun facts. Um, I discovered that, actually this is not a fun fact and it's probably common knowledge, I don't know. Um, I, we were looking at art. Why were we looking at art? I said something about Van Gogh and then I got curious and I like Googled Van Gogh and I'm like, man, this guy draws really sad faces, which I later found out were himself. But he's got like some dope swirly action in the background. That's cute. Um, and then I was like, 
I had gotten him mixed up with Da Vinci because I was like, who made the Mona Lisa? And the answer is Da Vinci, not Van Gogh. Not an art history major, don't judge me. And then I realized that they were live like 300 years apart. Like to Van Gogh, Da Vinci was as far, far back as Van Gogh is to us. That's crazy. And then we were debating whether or not Van Gogh was like a Da Vinci fan. Like would he have known? <laughs> what, what, were the, what was the record keeping and sharing like back then before the internet? It's so hard to imagine. Okay. Um, these are questions that probably have very easy answers. I just didn't stay in school long enough. What exactly is Orange Pico? Uh, without a doubt, the most popular question I get asked at the market booth is, do you have any plain old Orange Pico tea? I love blogs. I grew up on Red Rose Orange Pico. Not an or Well, I knew it wasn't orange flavored. It's a classification based on the origin of the leaf. Must be purely new flushes. Flush being the leaf blood plucked with two youngest leaves. Based on the size of the leaf, location of the tea plant. Peco, orange peco, special kind of Chinese tea, white downy hairs. Interesting. <laughs> Can you guess what the re- oh boy. Um, all right. I feel like I learned both a lot and absolutely nothing. But anyways, I couldn't find any. <laughs> Uh, we did Raylan. I got the Raylan mount. Oh yeah, that's right. That's what you're telling me. <laughs> Streaming has melted my brain. <laughs> I'm not smart anymore. I somebody will tell me something that is very valid, and then I'll be like, "No, I told you that." And then I'll realize, "No, that's not what just happened." <laughs> oh boy, you're right. I don't have to do Raylan anymore. It hasn't sunk in yet. That's the problem. Hey, Frox, thank you very much for the brand new sub. Welcome to the Squirrel Squad <laughs> streamer brain. I swear it's a thing. Um, theoretically, the state of keeping your mind in kind of this multitasking, constantly shifting mode will potentially, you know, shape the way that you think a little bit, assuming that you do it long enough. I imagine that it's different for different streamers, depending on how much they interact with chat, how much they are mode switching. Like some streamers will just play the game like they would normally, so that wouldn't be much different. And also how long they stream. I don't stream for very long, so um, I'm probably good, but uh, <laughs> it's um, working in a state of perpetual distraction has, at least to my knowledge, some actual impact on the way that your brain ends up getting wired because the things that you do more, you get better at. Um, there's a whole process about it. Anyways, I am camping for on day and I have remembered that the end comes first. Oh, uh, killing mobs get rare to spawn. So this is actually a theory that I've seen come up before. Hi Hazel's up, Triple T, how you doing? I <laughs> have 11 characters parked at Raylan next week. I just, I log on to stream, hey guys, look what I did. Um, this is a theory that I've heard that killing Quillen will proc a spawn of Ande. And it is unclear whether or not that's true, because in the past there have been rare mobs that functioned under a similar logic. However, this could also be a case of people seeing patterns where they want to see patterns, because if you if you are in the area killing Quillen, after a certain amount of time, regardless of the Quillen that you've killed, it's gonna spawn because it's on a timer. Um, the fact that it spawns when there have not been people around farming it, I think, or farming the mounts, I think, says to me that it's unlikely that killing Quillen has an impact, but, you know, you get a handful of people that were killing Quillen for questing or just to see if it would spawn, and then by chance it spawns, and all of a sudden that is now seen as a pattern that indicates the truth. Um, people love doing this. It's a, um, oh. It's a very common thing to happen, especially in WoW drops. People come up with all kinds of crazy, like, rituals and superstitions about, you know, how to get varying amounts of lucky. And it's, uh, humans just really, really, really want to see pattern. We don't really, we're not accustomed to accepting true randomness. Um, we would rather not. So you get a lot of that. So, well, it could be true. I'm of the opinion that maybe not. Hard to say. Certainly no firm proof. You can't say 100% that's true. <sighs> okay. I would say I shouldn't go all out and I will uh, stop popping cooldowns because it's occurred to me that we're not in a hurry to kill this, but also my druid doesn't do any damage anyways. Super Squirt next Wednesday, you streaming? I'll be streaming next Wednesday. I'm not streaming Super Squirt. <laughs> I, I appreciate and accept that it's a great way to level pets. I will never. Um, it's 
so boring. And there are just other ways to level pets that may not be as efficient, but at least are not that boring. I don't know what it is about that activity specifically that just hits my too much gene. I will do other things people consider very boring endlessly and with great amusement. But super squirt farming, the same pet battle over and over and over again, mm, hard miss. However, um, also worth noting, my pets are all leveled. Um, I don't have any pets left that need leveling. I am fully done. All right, let's see. Uh, that was attempt number four. I did not get it. Somebody got a sky shard. I'm always like looking through the raid loot to see if anybody else got lucky. Uh, four attempts, no good. All right, let's move on and go Camp Holly, shall we? It still has not gotten into my brain that I don't need to do Raylan yet. How lucky is it that the one that is at the bottom of like an actual maze filled with mobs is the one I get first? Can't believe that. Epiphenia, seeing patterns where there's none. Same as hitting down B in Pokemon to get the mod to stay in the ball. I used to have like a timing of hitting the B to get Pokemon to stay in. And I now realize, like I fully believe that as a kid. Um, I now realize probably, well, let's do Holly last. I feel like Holly's the one that I'm most excited for. Let's do that one last. We're gonna go Camp Ren first. Have you been to Jasmine Pearl Tea Company in Portland? They have the best tea. I don't know if I've done Jasmine Pearl. I'm a big fan of Tao of Tea. They have um, two tea shops in Portland. They have one at the Chinese Gardens and they have another one elsewhere. And I really like their tea. I'll buy it from them online when I can't get to the store. Which one did you get? Sorry, just joined. I got the the scale from Ray Lund that gives you the Rajani War Serpent off the vendor. Was what I got. So I'm going, it seemed like it did spawn right where the star was. So I'm going to hang it right here. The trick is going to be finding a nice safe place to live my life. <laughs> because clearly over there is not it. Um, unless they truly were just really jealous of my existing. Uh, truly were super jealous of my, uh, my War Serpent. Oh, did my bot die? Oh no, my, my I was just on a timer, I see. Hold left at the same time as the B button to make the Pokeball lock. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, I have had Oolong tea before. I particularly enjoy medium... What's the word? Not oxygenated. There's a word for how processed the tea is that has a result in how caffeinated and how strong the tea is. I prefer medium, so um, like a good Taiwan Yin is my f is my preferred kind of oolong. I don't like the super floral flowery ones. I want like a good medium, slightly metallic-y tasting one. And uh, I used to do those every every morning, late morning, but I've kind of switched over to green teas lately. It's always me that breaks the dog, but you didn't break it. There's just a timeout. Um, as if it gave the answer in the past minute, it won't give the answer again just to prevent spam. And somebody somebody got there first. Um, I've heard that Maldraxxus is up on Alpha. They released the Zone Preview blog post. And they also... <sighs> they took the servers down for the build. I just don't know if the servers are up. At the beginning of the patch, my best friend invited me. Killed two alliance to get Relin to change over to him. I came down after 10 minutes of kiting and dying. I got the scale and had no idea what it was. He was so upset at the beginning of the patch. I bet. I mean, at least somebody got it. Oh, Ren. War mode off. Thank goodness. All right, look at this. Where are we at? Here he is. Putting on my Moonfire. And this is this is totally fine. I should have been doing this this whole expansion. Well, patch. Um, particularly for the uh, Corpse Eater. Because I really want that one. <laughs> I really want the Malevolent Drone. That one's not up, right? The Corpse Eater requires... Which invasions does Corpse Eater require? That's always been kind of unclear to me. Obviously a cure. Oh! No way! Guys, I don't deserve them anymore. <laughs> I didn't earn this. I didn't do the time. I didn't put in the work. I don't, I didn't get the degree. <laughs> I don't, why? I'm not mad. I'm just incredulous and feeling inexplicably guilty. Uh, wow, look at the nice puppy dog. <laughs> wow, look at that. Well, that's another one we can check off the list. <laughs> If we get another one, I've got another stream highlight for us. Mm. Consolation for Mail Muncher. You guys have excessively good taste. I was judging you for not, I was judging you a little bit for not choosing the Horrific Visions because I figured the Mail Muncher has to be soon. But you know, the Mail Muncher doesn't have to be soon, but apparently this was. 
Uh, glad I was here to witness. Otherwise, I would not have believed. It's crazy. So now I only need Ande Mount and Holly. So we're gonna we're gonna tr you know look for Holly group. <laughs> it hasn't even been an hour of stream. If if I can somehow keep up this luck, which sounds unlikely. Um, on the off chance that I kept this luck up, I would be completely done with all Veil Rares in one stream. Like, what even? Space Moose, thank you for the brand new sub. Welcome to the Squirrel Squad. Are the drop rates high? I don't know. I don't think they're that high because when I see these raid groups killing them, you look in, you look in the chat and you're seeing other people looting Black Empire stuff. You're seeing other people looting, like, you know... Black Empire stuff, I believe, Sea Weave, I think if anybody had gotten the mount, it would have shown up in chat. And I have not yet seen anybody in any of these groups getting a mount from any of these drops except for me. <laughs> Serious streamer luck today, like 5%. Uh, so jealous. Uh, I did, I got the Raylune scale today. I got it like 20 minutes into the stream. I could not win a mount off. Absolutely not. I am missing many, many mounts. I don't have that many. Um, there, there's many streamers that have more than me. I have 476 usable, 519 total. Um, I guess I'm getting there. <laughs> if I keep this luck up, then I'm getting there. But, like, there's lots of old mounts. And then anything that's, like, anything that I can't comfortably work towards on my own, I'm too stubborn to do in a group. I don't want to do, I don't want to take things from stream. I don't want to take carries. I don't want to buy carries. If I can't do it on my own two feet, I don't want it yet. Like, I'm going to get this mount four years from now when I can walk into Battle of Desire Lore and solo it myself. That's the plan. Um, it's just me being needlessly stubborn. I'm not saying that it's the better way to live your life. That's just how I'm living my life. Uh, Tashara is up, I guess. We could go do her. She just offers a toy. Uh, people keep saying Ishak's up, so I guess we could do that as well. Um, that's just like, that's, you know, if we ever finish, <laughs> finish uh, Veil Rares anyways. Wowhead says 3% for Hali. What suggests 1 in 300? I do not have a deal with Blizzard, I can promise you that. Hi, Vez, thank you for the brandy sub. Welcome to the Squirrel Squad. Uh, Wowhead also says fail steals 3%, I don't trust it. Holly dropped two mounts at a time today, also got Ande and one of the Arathi mounts. You know, if they're, if they're a similar drop rate to the Arathi rares, which I guess maybe they could be, then that's not so bad. I should have been doing this earlier if that was the case. I kind of assumed that they would all be like Rust Feather caliber difficulty because rust rust feather he's tough right like he's that's a that's a rare mount i don't i don't really see people just getting the rust feather mount uh ishak's the only rare up with any invasion in Aldum. okay i do have my molly i do have a molly i got lucky and got her in the first week the first rotation of crowlock um i got it i got it on like my 10th character or something like that Is it a carry if we run it on the Squirrel Squad? Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess so. The thing is, though, like, if it's a guaranteed two mount drops, right? If I get one just by virtue of me being the streamer, that feels unfair. I wouldn't, I would want to win a role, right? Like, I don't want to, <laughs> I, and I promise I'm not just doing this to be, like, holier than anybody. I, in my brain, my enjoyment of the game is very tightly connected to the integrity of the reward structure. I will feel utterly unmotivated to put in any work for anything ever if I have gotten too many things for free. It's the same reason that like in any game in my life that if I ever used like a cheat code in like a single player game, I wouldn't play that game for very long because after you've like experienced what it's like to cheat, you can't go back to doing it the old way. Um, and the whole thing just becomes kind of unrewarding and then you get bored and then you quit. Ooh. Um, so that's why I'm so stubborn about not accepting help on stuff like that, because I'm not gonna, it's gonna be tough for me to even want to do anything <laughs> otherwise, and I really don't want to rely on other people. Um, plus I think it just makes it a little bit more, like, it makes mount collecting look a little bit more achievable, because it's very easy to look at streamers that have, like, a billion mounts and be like, wow, I mean, they just got half of those for free. Um, but... You know, I'm not a crazy player. I don't play 10 hours a day. Um, I haven't been playing since 2004, but I have a good amount. It's not like you can't get into mount collecting without these things. Let's see. Uh, can you kill Holly multiple times a day? 
once per day per character. So I am killing her multiple times a day by using different alts. Um, this is the second character that I'm killing her on today. Uh, Rarity says five out of 300 attempts. Um, one in 33 sounds more accurate. Like that would be the 3% drop rate, right? Is that how math works? <laughs> Something like that. Oh, and let's see. Oh, somebody got, no, that's just artifact power. Never mind. I was going to say somebody got it, but that was just my AP. Cause this was a, this was a full raid group. Somebody said grats. Am I just not seeing? Oh yeah, somebody did get it. Tiss and Wolf got their clutch of Holly. So at least one person in that group did get their mount. Nice. That was my sixth Holly kill. I did not get it just yet. So we did, gosh, getting mount so fast. <laughs> Getting mounts so fast is really hard, you guys. It's like really tough for me to remember what I still need. Kidding, by the way. Um, I only need to do Ande and Holly now. So I just take other characters out here and I do Ande and Holly. I don't need to, I do need to have unlocked assaults, but I don't need to have done any particular amount of rep. I just need to have assaults unlocked. It's an MMO, you should be relying on health from others. Yeah, but once you start to do that, you can't deny that having a public name within that game community gives you an unfair advantage. And to me, that damages the integrity for me. That's all. If I, if I was getting into these groups under an alias, you know, off stream on like a different server and nobody knew it was me, that would be less egregious to me. It's just, uh, I'm unlikely to do that. <laughs> that, that also sounds like a lot of work. I'm also just kind of shy. Oh man. If Shaq is up all the time, if you get them all today, you can run him. Indeed, indeed. Also, if I just get bored of, like, heading out to Vale. So, I am guess, um, which characters have even unlocked Vale? I did it on a fair few of them, because I got, I was getting cloaks for a while. I was getting cloaks for a while to do, um, oh, Hazel probably has the, has a cloak. I was getting cloaks for a while to just get item level up for the sake of farming Karazhan. Got my malevolent drone last week or earlier this week. Can't remember from Card Seeder. Mm. Would you join a friendship dragon run if you weren't already a heroic writer? Probably. If I could get into one, like if I was a if I was, you know, hanging out in the Perky Pugs Discord or whatever, watching one of their streams and I won the it's like a lottery system, right? If I won that and got in, yeah, I don't see why not. Um Okay, I am heading out to Vale. Guys, to do some, uh, to do Holly and to do Ande again. Enter an alias priest name's not Hazel walks by. How do you get dungeons unlocked for an area? What do you mean? Usually, they're there. You can dungeons are very rarely locked in this game. Uh, Let's see. Hello, Hazel. Working towards the drone mount, but I struggle due to not having any level 25 pets. Do those ones scale down to you? Do those pet battles scale down to you? I know some of them do. Uh, I've been recruiting for NA carriers. Any advice for farming Echo of Mortality? Yes. Farm every day until you get that one chunk of like three to six of them, three to eight of them, and then give up for the day. <laughs> you, you have a pretty strong chance to get your first chunk in a given day, and then the drop rate falls off a cliff. So if you want to do it in the minimum amount of time played and you're not so worried about calendar time, then just kind of live your normal life and make sure you're getting at least your first clump every day just from killing some mobs you'll get in the first like five, maybe 10 minutes. And then don't stress about having to grind all the rest of them out. The other thing that you could do is get really invested in a grind for like one of the world mounts. So you're maybe you're in Voldoon, you're grinding Sethrak for the Hyena mount. Maybe you're in Nazmir grinding Blood Trolls for the Blood Troll mount. In the process of doing that, you will also grind out your Echoes of Mortality. The third way is to just go grind it out <laughs> all by itself in one big eight hour go. But that's no fun. They do scale? Okay, okay. Uh, King's Rest or Boralis? No, I don't know. Uh, Hazel, what's the thesis? I have, I'm on to water now. I finished, I have a, a cup of Tetley's British blend. I don't know what they, what it is, but that's what they call it. It was pretty good. You have the Najatar Blood Serpent. I think so. That's the one that we got 
Nazjid, yeah, I do have that. We got that one uh, halfway through May last month. <laughs> I just bought the shards. Uh, I bought the abyssal shards off the auction house because I like had the gold handy and they weren't that expensive. And I'm like, yeah, okay. Uh, I just bought them and then we went and did that on stream. Uh, Faded Forte, thank you very much for the brand new sub. Welcome to the Squirrel Squad. Good morning. Accidentally sold the Mechagon fishing pole nine days ago. Thanks, Blizzard. Already got it back. Mechagon fishing pole. Mechagon fishing pole. I don't know about a Mechagon fishing pole. What's the Mechagon fishing pole? Do you drink still water or mineral slash carbonated? Oh, you, you're more into water than me. I don't know what any of that... I mean, I know what mineral and carbonated water is. I drink water that comes from our tap that we put through a Brita filter. Um, and then I have just like a, a metal water bottle. And I just fill this up all day. And we just have a big, like a charcoal filter that we just put tap water through. I am so grateful to live in a place where the tap water is drinkable. Every time I visit... Anaheim or Irvine, just basically Southern California. I can't believe how gnarly the water has been, at least at the places I've stayed at. Maybe there's places you can get better water, but like I've had to leave it out overnight um, to have it be even kind of drinkable. I understand why people buy bottled water there because like around here, you get a, a glass from the tap, it's gonna be a little chlorinated, but it's like, it's fine. <laughs> and if you run it through a Brita, it's like totally, totally, like it's really nice. Um, growing up at home, it was the same thing. Nobody bought water bottles. Okay, so, uh, let's go do on day. Uh, do you watch RuPaul's Drag Race? Unfortunately not, only because I pretty much only watch whatever makes it to YouTube or Netflix, or maybe Prime Video. I don't have any form of cable or subscription TV, so that's the- I, I would like to watch it if it were available, um, on one of those services. What am I looking for? On day. A N H. That's right. In our house, sparkling is grandpa water. I remember trying carbonated water, like sparkling water, when I was a kid. I had my grandpa's house, which is what reminded me of it. Um, and I was all excited because I was like, oh, this looks fancy. It looks adult. It looks sophisticated. And then I had some and I'm like, oh, well. <laughs> I don't I don't understand it at all. There's a big trend these days of unsweetened carbonated beverages and the carbonation just isn't that important to me. I don't really miss carbonated drinks. I don't drink pop anymore. Um, soda. I don't I used to as a kid. Um, not so much at home, but like, you know, parties, restaurants, that kind of thing. Um, and I don't know if the carbonation was ever the really exciting thing. It just makes you burp a lot. <laughs> Uh, Vegas is awful. I've never been. Oh, the water. That's what we're talking about. I was trying, I was trying to connect back. Like, I, I probably agree with you despite never having been, but, um, why again? I imagine I wouldn't like Vegas much just because it seems like the kind of culture that's not for me. I have, well, I might enjoy the shows. I have no interest in gambling. I have utterly no interest in gambling. I don't understand the appeal at all. The whole concept stresses me out. Even if I'm not gambling, watching other people choose to gamble, which they fully have the right to do, totally fine, makes me uncomfortable. So I, I would rather just stay out of the whole state of Nevada. <laughs> I'm good. That's okay. Oh, man. Uh, is the game trying to stop you from farming by giving you all these recent mounts? Yeah, Blizzard just... Uh, well, I was going to joke that they want me to stop streaming, um, but that would be a mean joke and an untrue thing to say. Um, <laughs> just, just give her all the mounts and she'll stop. Um, I don't see I don't see any problem with what we're doing. I am married. It's on Netflix in Canada. Yes, yeah, super married. Can't drink flat water. Tea, no worries, but water I can't get down. Uh, that's what makes the pop pop. Why so many druids? Mm, I end up with a lot of druids. I also end up with a lot of priests and a lot of hunters too. It's uh, they're just kind of comfy level, and they're I mean with druids in particular, there's so many specs that you um. I'm somebody that really prefers to stick to two specs per character. In my brain, we never left dual spec. I, I, I still play characters as though we are limited to two specs. So I will have, like, this particular druid, she is a guardian druid. She's a tank druid. Everything else is terrible. And then my other druid, my night elf, she is a resto druid. If I decided that I wanted to play a feral druid for some reason, I would probably level another one. <laughs> Does that make sense? No! Absolutely not, but that is what I would probably do. What's all these Ray Lund groups? I don't need those anymore, huh? I don't even need Helmlord Ren. I only need Ande and then Hali. On. <sighs> Cold Tyrion forms look so awesome. Mm. 
the Americans live in Vegas, never gamble. I do think that the, the shows and the performance would be pretty cool. What do you gain from multiples of the same class? I mean, what do you gain from multiples of different classes? <laughs> it's all the same thing. It's just more. I have every class leveled. Um, with the exception of my Demon Hunter's like 113 or something. She's not quite done. But I have every class effectively leveled. And I don't play most of them anyway. So having like any additional alts I have at this point are going to be duplicates of something. I also have I also have duplicate 120 monks. I have duplicate 120 shamans. I don't even play those. <laughs> oh man, you would you would not enjoy Final Fantasy 14. Yeah, that's the one where you can just stick to one character and basically level every spec on the one character, right? Um, part of that concept is appealing to me, and it it would solve a lot of problems. Um, oh, one more off, yes. It's just. Uh, No, seems seems fine. All right, there he is. Here I can tank. <laughs> uh, Vampire four fourteen. Thank you very much for the two month reset. Appreciate it. Let's make sure that I've got my Moonfire up. <sighs> Three warriors and an Armist Fury and Prot Warrior. Yeah, I don't see any reason not to have dupes if they make you happy. Like live your life. <laughs> There's. Different people have different purposes for their alts. If somebody's purpose is to play the game at a high level in different classes to experience the various class design, then it wouldn't make sense. But if your purpose for leveling alts, like mine, is just to have extra characters for like stuff like this, for just like mount farming and whatnot, it really doesn't matter whether they're the same class or not. Um, there's, I don't really play alts. I don't, I don't play my alts. I think that's where I'm going with this. Ow, 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 ow. Um, all right, let's see. Oh, somebody got it. Not me that time. That was my fifth attempt. Verdeth got it, and Tushkit got it as well. Congrats. Slash I. Uh, and let's go Camp Holly next. He's still playing a pally. I have one. I have one. I'm just a bit allergic to melee. It's just not... I would prefer playing ranged classes. Like, I just like leveling ranged classes more. Um, paladins are fun. I like prop paladin. That is, oh, that guy always baits me. I always think that's going to be Holly and it's not. Okay. Let's see. Oh, no way. I'm, I'm not, that's an old group. Well, it's like a minute old. Am I going to make it in, in time? Where are we at? Are we doing this up on the mountain? What's the plan? Is it up? I don't see it. People are leaving. Okay, it's probably over. I'm just going to go look for the corpse. Somebody in the group is saying grats, so somebody must have gotten it. I don't even know where they killed it. Oh well. Um, let's try again. Ha! So that was the group I just left. Yeah. I should make sure I check which, um, I should make sure I check who the leader of the group is when I join it, so that I um, don't just join the, the, the same group again. Play Ellie Shaman, so much fun. Ellie's all right. I don't hate Ellie. I prefer Resto. Oh, new one. Given given the chance, Resto Shaman is very satisfying to me because of the animations. Like the water animations are so good. I wonder if they're not going to convert it to raid. I keep checking to make sure that's still, still Haichi. Haichi? Haichi? I don't know. Um, why don't you type ha dash li? Um, just because somebody might choose to list their group without the dash. This will definitely, this makes a short enough list that I can still check it. And it will catch the group whether they've n labeled it correctly or not. Not everybody will have that. That's the same person in the group as last time. It like delisted and then relisted. Oh, there we go. People are up. Oh, it's down. Where is it? Are we fighting it over here? We're fighting it over here. All right. This will be attempt number six or seven. 
Here, I'll tank it. Actually, that might be a mistake. <laughs> I don't have all the pets for the new zones. I guess if farming them is like farming this, then it wouldn't be so bad. The problem is that I don't know that people are necessarily going to list groups for, like, the Forgotten the same way that they list groups for Holly. Um, if they do, then that would be totally fine. Because I do want those pets, and I'm not getting any, any closer to getting them, because I almost never find the rares up. I'm just kind of hoping I come across them. So that was a Black Empire leather belt. That was not a mount. Uh, Zilexi got it. We're seeing, I think, pretty consistently one or two mounts on average. Sometimes not, but per kill. So I would say that 1 in 30 seems like an appropriate drop rate. Um, not too bad. 1 in 20, 1 in 30 wouldn't surprise me. All right, so that's those. That's this character done. Because she did Ande, she did Hali. So now we get another character, we try again. Uh, Snow Day, thank you very much for the 7 month reset. Happy 7 months. Did you get the Ivory Cloud Serpent? I did get the Ivory Cloud Serpent. I also got the Rajani War Serpent, and then I got a uh, Ren Stalwart Hound, so I'm on like a real roll today. <laughs> Ashes of Alara is in pink. It's got, I mean, it's like orange and yellow, I guess. All right, which characters? We did the two druids. I don't know who has the cloak. I guess I'll just log into characters, and if they don't have the cloak, I'll just log off of them. <laughs> Uh, I don't know that we need another class, but WoW feels overdue to give us another male wearer. I agree. A male wearer with at least one, if not more, ranged DPS specs. I'd be on. I'd be down. Uh, I found a way to watch from my fire stick. <laughs> there you go. Congrats. Am I on TV? Have I made it? Wow. I always like looking through my YouTube stats. Oh, hey, I do have a cloak. So if I had the cloak, that means I unlocked the Veil Assault Zone. So that means I can actually go do it. Um, this character is still parked out in Darkshar, and she will stay there. So I'm going to need to fly her up to Stormwind. I'm just going to take a flight path so I don't, like, fly past it while I'm just ch talking to chat. Um, man, I don't remember getting the cloak on her, but I must have done it. Have you heard of BTTV? Yeah, I have. I haven't been sold on the concept of doing anything with it, though. It seems... I don't know. <laughs> I guess I'm just lazy. Also, in my brain, it's getting conflated with the completely unrelated topic. Uh, there's like a an MCN, a multi-channel network, like one of these YouTube conglomerate networks that tries to sign channels so they can just take ad revenue for no reason. Um, and they'll send you pitch emails constantly over and over and over and over and over again. Different people every time, five, six of them a week, and you just block every new email address and they just keep coming back. Um, <laughs> So the, the letters in general, I know it's not quite the same letters, but it's close enough to just be tinged with like an oh in my head. Uh, finally got the Chonky B mount today. Such a cute mount. Congratulations. I should get BTTV. Is that the thing that gives GIF emotes? Because I see those and sometimes they, they're a lot. <laughs> sometimes they're too much. How long did it take you to get exalted with Argusian Reach? More time than it would take somebody now. I did it back when it was fresh, and there's been a lot of catch-up applied to that rep since then. It should be much faster to do. There's not much to do for it aside from just keeping up with the the dailies and other things. I, I made a video way back in the day. Well, not way back in the day, but back when that was new about how to get reputation for those allied races. Um, I believe it's called something along the lines of unlock allied races fast. There's like a void off on the thumbnail. And the methods should still be the same. You get more rep from them now than you used to, and you should now do rares on any of the three zones because they should all give rep with both Army of the Light and Argusian Reach. But it shouldn't take too long. We get gifts and animals. You can make your own Joker emotes of Joker doing stuff for when he gets too old to do stuff. <laughs> That's vaguely morbid. Uh, uh, how do you recommend getting BFA rep? Huh, the usual. You know, use any rep bonuses that are available to you. So if Darkmoon Fair is up, you'd want to use that. I believe it is up right now. So get your Darkmoon Fair buff. Get your contract for whatever rep it is that you're specifically working on. Do all the world quests that you can of that rep. And then potentially a few extra ones. Oh, kitty cat, would you like to come up and say hi? Oh, I was just moving the chair back so you could come up here. You're, wel you're welcome to come. You're welcome. She's ignoring me now. She does a thing where she, like, if she gets in the mood, she'll just pretend you're not there. But it's very conspicuous that she's pretending. Um, 
she's facing the other way grooming herself as though that was what she planned to do all along what do you think hello You were having such a good nap earlier. I, she was laying on the bed and we have this fluffy blanket. It's got like one of those false Sherpa fleece sides to it. And um, she lays on that and then just kind of like half moons herself out. You know how cats stretch out so that they're like their, their front feet touch their back feet, but like backwards. She did that and uh, Usually if you go pet her, she'll like roll over and say hi and like snuggle you. But she didn't even wake up. She was just so sleepy. Cat is tomorrow. And, uh, and I like snuggled her for a bit before stream because I had some extra time while I was waiting for my tea. Huh. Are you going to give me some luck? You're going to give me some, I mean, I, I don't know if I need it, but you're going to give me some more mouth luck? We got two more mouths we can get there. That would be a good clickbait thumbnail. Five mounts in one day. I guess we can't get five. We can get like, what, four? One, two, four? There you go. Good add-on for tracking gold income. I track my gold income with Trade Skill Master. Um, she's <laughs> bumping my elbow. Uh, sorry, am I blocking your mic access? You want your microphone back? Trade Skill Master has um, detailed data and graphs showing gold income. Um, you can split it out. Let's see, ledger here, revenue. Um, you've got this is just list form. In the dashboard, you've got that big bar graph I can see in the past seven days. Um, I can see the gold that I've made. This is a bit confused in my case, but it'll show you like your profit, your expenses, your best items. I apparently made the most from Unbridled Fury. I probably accidentally sold some of those, um, but TSM is, is my favorite way to do it. So cute, how did you get so lucky? Uh, Kira, she's a, she's, a, she's a real sweet girl. I don't think we can take much credit. Cats are very individual, so sometimes you just get lucky and get a good one. We did get her as a kitten, though. She was a teeny baby little shelter kitten. And then when I got her, I, I had such bad cat fever that I just snuggled the life out of her. I was so hands-on with this cat, and we had people over to visit her, and we handled her a lot. And um, we got her used to having her paws touched, and she would sleep with us every night. We just spent a lot of time with her her whole life, and she's, like, super into that now. Um... So I think mostly just got lucky, but partly, partly uh, probably from getting her used to it when she was young. How do you make your gold? Lately, I don't. I have not been doing any gold making for a couple of months now. I figured, you know, I have my Brutosaur. There's, there's enough other people trying hard to get theirs. I don't need to be in there posting my enchants every, every day. Um, generally speaking, enchanting and alchemy are my main gold makers, but I also do enjoy a good raw gold farm just by doing dailies and getting reputation and getting paragon caches. I would, I'd say I'm sitting on, oh, I have like 14k on this character. This isn't all. I have probably between 100 and 150k on care across my characters right now. And most of it's probably just from like paragon caches and salts and stuff like that. Mm. <laughs> Negative 400 points. Indeed. Glad to see my TSM isn't the only one that's having a fast fest with the sale summary numbers. It apparently spent 5 million gold in a month, which makes no sense. I always assumed that my awkwardness with TSM was because it's... I, I will... I will... I play WoW on two different computers. I have this computer here that I play for stream and videos, and I have another one in my living room. My old computer, I kept it. I, I set it up in my living room as like a free time computer in a ill-fated but well-meaning attempt to add some boundaries and separation to my life. And the add-on, my add-ons sync between computers, so I have the same add-ons of both computers, but the add-on data does not sync. And that means that, like, for example, for rarity counts, it both computers only count rarity kills that were made on that computer. Um, they're not sharing data, really. 
gold making advice for new players. Try a little bit of everything and figure out what feels fun and satisfying to you. Because if you just chase the thing that makes the most gold, not only does that change pretty often because of the nature of making gold, like if, if something is the best thing, everyone's going to do it and it's not going to be the best thing anymore. But also, whatever you end up doing, you're probably going to be doing a lot of it, so you may as well do it in a way that's fun for you. For me, what that means is finding grinds that fulfill multiple purposes at once, so ways to make gold while leveling an alt, or to make gold while farming a mount, or make gold while... I don't know, alchemy is just fun because when potions proc, it's very exciting. But, you know, find find something that feels good. Try a bunch of stuff. Don't confine yourself to one thing because gold making changes a lot. So the best thing is just to be flexible and try a bunch of stuff. Um, also, don't write on... I don't know. I'm... I get excited about any amount of gold, you know? I don't like walking by mobs that still have loot on them because I'm like, oh, what if there's like two gold? That's for me. That's gold I didn't have before I killed that. I get very excited about even intensely tiny games. So don't, don't let anybody make you feel bad about a gold farm you're doing just because it's not, you know, a bajillion gold an hour. You know, people can sell mythic Nizoth carries and they can make crazy gold, but not everybody, not everybody can do that. All gold, all gold is val is val valid. Uh, gold making is miserable, don't do it. I heard that you, Mr. Karume, are a... I was going to say lucky, but a hard-working owner of a Brutosaur yourself these days. I heard the big news. First time catching a stream for the Alliance. Uh, Mogu Assault is up. Yeah, this is the one with the real good, real good, yes. Uh, rares. Mount rares. Good mount rares. Yeah. I love it when people convert to raids so that lots of people can get in. It's great. So this is going to be attempt six on Onde for Jinla. This is like so chill to do. <laughs> this is really fun. I'm finally feeling like I didn't waste my entire life leveling all these alts and getting their cloaks and stuff because I have, I can, it's so nice to be able to just hang out for a while. And maybe I'm having fun because I'm getting stupid lucky, but it's nice to just kind of, you know, find, find, find some mounts or find some rares up, kill some rares, you know, stack up some chances. It's nice. I'm done never again. Mm -hmm. Well, you never have to again because they're never going to add anything that good again because they know better now. <laughs> Time to grab my mail. Doesn't always need to be the bee's knees as long as it works for you. Exactly. Exactly. Whatever's fun. <sighs> I mostly just kind of work towards other goals. Eh. Ooh, somebody got it. I did not get it. Uh, two people got it. Uh, Wobin and Inspect DH got their Jin Labs from that one. Nice. Congrats. All right, so let's go kill Holly. I can't believe we're down to just like two rares per character now. This, this makes it feel so much faster. This mount farming is not possible at 110. You must be level 120 and you must have your cloak unlocked in order to do this, these mount farms. You are getting the mounts because you did put in the prep work, in this case, having tons of alts with cloaks. I guess so. At the time, the only reason I was getting cloaks on alts was to kind of like scrape their item level up a little bit so that I could run, you know, like Legion Kara without getting it wrecked. But <laughs> as it turns out, I still get wrecked. However, um, all good because it's working out for me. So far, so good. When's the last time you played Classic? When did I do that scavenger hunt stream? November? I just, I'm just not good at playing multiple, multiple MMOs at the same time. I've never done that. Never in my life have I, well, that's not true. I was gonna say, I never concurrently play MMOs, but that's not true because I have in my life currently concurrently played Black Desert Online and WoW, and I think the reason for that is they scratch wildly different itches for me because they're very different games. WoW Classic is too similar to WoW Retail for me to feel like I'm not just doing double duty playing them both, and there's no world where I stop playing Retail. At least I don't see that world <laughs> coming very soon. So it's not there. I don't have a problem with it. It just didn't fit into my schedule. <sighs> uh, just paid for a race change for my Mechanome. That's in its allied race armor and every other race looks so wrong. Oh, is it still wearing the allied race armor? 
Don't need to do the whole quest line. Yeah, I guess that's true. I guess as long as you've got the veil unlocked, then that would do it, huh? Um, you just need to get as far as having the zone available with the assault. Um, you probably don't need to finish getting the cloak, but at that point you may as well. Just want to make sure that I'm <laughs> near it when we start fighting it. At least these have enough health that, um, that you don't seem to need to, uh, it's not like a, it doesn't die that fast that you're worried about tagging it as long as you were there when it started. Yeah, I play a little BDO. And I also will sometimes have like more than one game kind of active at a time. For a while I was playing both WoW and uh, Animal Crossing. These days I am playing both WoW and I've started a new Stardew Valley playthrough that I've been enjoying. I never dug into patch 1.4, so I'm kind of having a little bit of that on my own time. But multiple MMOs at the same time. Tough, tough sell. Riot Girls Gaming with the brand new sub. Welcome to the Squirrel Squad. New opinions for Torn on Wowhead. Females get flowers in their hair. Oh, that sounds really cute. Oh, options, not opinions. I misread that. Can't wait to get my new PC to play WoW. Finally joined the Squirrel Squad. Played more retail than Classic, but haven't been playing Classic lately. Classic also seems like one of those things that, um, because the nature of it being a recreation, there's not going to be new content after the phases are done. I don't even know if the phases are done. Um, I did not get it that time. Question is, do I leave this character out here? When, did the, when does the assault end, actually? We have another day. So tomorrow on stream, I could do this again. I'm kind of having fun. I'm kind of tempted to leave this character out here so that I can just do it again tomorrow. <sighs> Hazel, I'm thinking about upgrading to a standalone mic. Anything you recommend to watch out for? Never purchased anything like this before. Look for a microphone with a cardioid pickup pattern. I'm assuming this is for using while gaming, um, whether it's for streaming or just for chatting on voice. Cardioid is nice because what that does is the mic will pick up sound from one side and not the other, which means you can angle one end towards you and the other end is towards your keyboard. You have it in between your mouth and your keyboard, so it is specifically not picking up, or at least not trying to pick up, your key sounds coming from your desk. Um, the icon for it looks like a little butt. Um, <laughs> the Yeti will do it. Many mics will do that, but that's a keyword. Cardioid. C-A-R-D-I-O. Cardioid. Cardioid. Um, that's a keyword that is good to look for for gaming mics anyways. Um, be mindful that if you end up choosing an SLR mic that you will need some kind of interface to convert that to USB to connect it to your computer. I have just a little, X, uh, pardon me, XLR. I have a little XLR to USB mixer that does the, does the trick. It doesn't need to be fancy. But um, if, it, if you're just connecting it directly to a computer, it may be easier if you can find a USB mic. Uh, what do you think about the new Maldraxxus preview? It looks about right. I, re I read the blog post. Seems fine. Um, I haven't played it yet. Does this character have her cloak? She does not. Okay. So this character probably does not have assaults unlocked. Interesting. I should do that sometime. Um, I will move on to the next one. <laughs> it's heart-shaped cardio. Nope, sorry. It's a little butt. I mean, yeah, potato, potato, hearts, butts. Yeah. Uh, PSB needs to hire you to explain stuff. You got the Best Buy superpower. I used to work for a Best Buy com related company. I used to work for Future Shop, which was Best Buy, but Canada with commissions and button down shirts. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 picked that, I picked that power up, honestly. Oh man, what am I doing? No cloak, moving on. <laughs> what are the, are the rep requirements for Legion allied races going away in Shadowlands? That is my understanding, yes. Actually, I know I heard, we heard about it going away for the BFA ones. Did I ever hear the keyword Legion? It would be very strange for them to take it away from BFA, but not Legion. I would assume so. Follow your heart? No, follow your butt. <laughs> Future Shop still around? No, no, they went under. Um, they shut them down and just replaced, I'm sure, some of them with Best Buys. And then some of them are just gone. 
And that happened after I left. So if you ask me, my ego says that I was, as a, as a lowly sales floor associate, I was the soul of the company holding it up. And after I left the country, it's just all gone. <laughs> my fault. Whoops. No cloak. Moving on. Clearly, I didn't get the cloak on everybody. I know I have it on my warrior. Um, at least. <laughs> Commissions feature shot paid back in the day was ridiculously high. It, well, it depends. It depended. Um, some of the commission employees would never make commission because they just didn't either sell enough or they didn't sell the right stuff and they would just get their minimum wage. And then some people that were good salespeople could do extremely well. Your commission was based on the margin of the item, which meant that if you were selling like a T, if you were selling a computer, for example, no margin, I would sell like a $800 laptop back in the day. I would make about $3.42 off that because there's just no margin in them, no margin at all. However, if I sold then an HDMI cable with it because they want to plug it into their TV, then that's probably another like six bucks off a $20 cable because those things are nothing but margin. If I sold like a hundred dollar computer setup, like if they wanted the tech bench to get, I don't know, the, the ads off it, <laughs> something like that. If they wanted the tech bench to set it up for them, then that was like a hundred dollar service and I would make another like 15 bucks off that. So if you pack it and then if you sell the warranty, heaven forbid if you sell the warranty, um, this character does not ever cloak, then that's, you know, those things had much higher margins. Um, cell phone associates were different. The people selling people on cell phone plans were making better money, and that was a different grade of associate. But for general floor people, it really depends. Um, I guess this doesn't matter anymore because the company's gone. It doesn't work like this anymore. Best Buy does not work like this. Best Buy is not commission. But um, you wouldn't make any commission until your commission passed what your minimum wage would have been for the hours given that you worked in a week. So if you worked an hour and your minimum wage was 10 bucks an hour, which I'm pretty sure was accurate at the time, I was making 10, 15 hours, something like that. Um, if I didn't sell 10, 15 hour worth of stuff in that hour, then I wouldn't, I would just make the 10, 50, but it was averaged out to a week. So within a given week, you had to do more than your minimum wage for your hours. Otherwise you wouldn't get any commissions at all. Um, some weeks were like that. I did okay. I sold a lot of stuff, but I would feel I didn't I didn't like pushing. <laughs> I didn't like pushing the extras. I would do it to people that wanted them. Um, but it was kind of gross because you would sell somebody on like the service plan that, you know, you'd say, all right, for three years, if anything happens with your computer, you have a place that you can come and we will take care of it for you. But I was not the associate personally providing that care. So maybe they buy that plan and something happens and they come back. Maybe they get a good tech. We had a lot of good techs. Maybe it works out. In that case, that's probably worth it for somebody, especially if they don't like have their kids on speed dial to fix their computer for them. But maybe they come in and they get a tech that's not doing so good or has a bad day or is unqualified to be there. And that felt really bad because I had no control over who they would get and what kind of service they would get when they came back. And that was very hit or miss depending on who you got. Um, this character does not have a cloak. Also inexplicably in their garrison. Moving on. Aaron Vall, thank you for the four month reset. Appreciate it. Sounds like an awful way to make money. It was, I mean, it is a retail job. It was an entry level retail job. I didn't have any schooling for it, certainly. And they taught you some good stuff about, I learned some good stuff about customer service. I learned some iffy stuff about sales. Um, I think that sales tactics are incredibly subjective and different. I don't, you know, some, some of them are, are more palatable than others. But it, you know what that job taught me? Was it taught me how to talk to people I didn't know. And I was horrible at that before and I'm a little better at it now because I learned how to walk up to somebody and say hi. I learned how to answer a phone without having a heart attack and that was incredibly valuable. I'm sure I could have picked that up at any job, but I got it there and I appreciate that a lot. Does this character? No cloak. Moving on. I <laughs> clearly talked a big game about how many cloaks I have and I don't know who I have them on. Um, oh, Kitty, I'm sorry. What do we got? We got another warlock. She certainly doesn't have her cloak. Um, this warrior definitely does. The warrior sure does. Here on behalf of the Malton Crusade. Why, oh, thank you. Do not miss sales incentives. Having to go over numbers with managers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There was that. I remember there were weeks if you did not hit your target, um, they could write you up for not trying hard enough, which was always upsetting because... You know, you're, imagine like it's a, you're a Best Buy employee, you have very little, uh, you have very little feel good influence anyways over what, whether or not somebody's going to buy something. And if you pressure somebody to buy something and they didn't want it and they bring it back, you lose the commission anyways. That sale doesn't count. There's no incentive to do that. So it's, it all seemed very like, oh, why did I just do that? That's not where I want to go. It all seemed very out of my hands. Like I... <laughs> 
I was perfectly happy to help people find things they were looking for or to explain what their options were, but I hate telling somebody what to do. I would rather tell them what I would do and then try to relate it to what they're trying to do. Um, but you gotta let people make decisions for themselves. You can't, you can't make decisions for people. They don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. Uh, can you not just look at your cloak, see how many characters you have it? Um, wow, I can, you're right. Apparently that's it. Apparently it's these five. Both druids, the warrior, the warlock, and the priest. Weird. I would have thought for sure I would have finished it on a few more. I guess this is the last character I have available for these two rares. Got used to picking up the phone. Still can't approach anyone, anyone even when they like want me to fix their stuff. Work in sales. They still write you up if you don't sell enough. Yeah, some people really thrive in sales. Some people do very well in it. And I don't think it's an inherently evil profession. I think that there are probably good salespeople that have their customers' interests at heart. Because like, if you are, if you are a really good salesperson and you actually help people get the thing they're looking for and make that process painless for them and fun for them, they're gonna come back to you and repeat business is everything. So there's, there's real reason to do it properly and not just sell people stuff they don't want. Um, and some people do really well in that, but it's not an environment that's kind to everybody's nerves and it certainly wasn't the right fit for me. <sighs> Sounds very stressful. Yeah, some people thrive under that. Some people really like the pressure. I really like, I really like doing this for a lot of reasons. One, it's a sweet gig where I'm playing video games. We can't neglect that. But I really love that in streaming and YouTube, I am able to create whatever I'm gonna do. I, may, I do my stream, I make my video, I write, well, I don't write blog posts, but like if I did, I, I make the video and I put it in the universe. I do my best to make it easy to find, but then I'm done. I don't need to shake down individual people and go, yo, you should watch my video. If somebody watches it and they don't like me or they don't like the content, that's totally fine. We don't need to have a confrontation about it. They can move on because it's YouTube and that's what you do. And if somebody likes it, then they know where to find more. It's all completely, it takes any pressure off of the consumer because I don't even need to know whether or not you watched it, right? Like there's no, there's no pressure there, which I really like. I wanna, <laughs> I want, I, I like how removed it is, I guess. Uh, are we gonna need the cloak in Shadowlands? No, absolutely not. Um, you will not need it. Leaving it behind, BFA feature. <sighs> Maybe because it only shows rank one cloaks? Mm. It's showing my priest though, and her cloak is definitely rank 15. Uh, what mounts do you get from this zone? So there's f a fair handful of veil rare mounts. I'll show you, I'll, I'll give you a little look. So if we open mounts and we search veil of eternal blossoms, some of these are like old veil mounts, like from the old rep. Um, ivory cloud serpent, that's one of them. That's one that we got yesterday on stream. That involves finding the ivory cloud serpent rare up using the Xantian lasso on it. The lasso is an item that drops from Mogu mobs. The Rajani war serpent, this one we got today earlier on stream, that is a rare drop from Raylun. Raylun will drop a scale that you can turn in at the vendor for this cloud serpent. We also have this one. This is uh, just from a rare, dropped straight, straight from a rare from Handlord Ren. That's another one that we got today. And then there's two more. This is from a rare that we're still farming for. And then this is from a rare that we're still farming for. Uh, Ryan, T Ryan T219 with a brand new sub. Welcome to the Squirrel Squad. Ryan and another Ryan with the 11 month resub. 11 months, Hazel, wow, tears. Didn't know you could search like that. It's pretty nice. You can, there's different, um, I don't know if that's default. I think it's default, but I do also use mount journal filtering add-ons. I have mount journal enhanced, so maybe that's helping, but mounts will have a couple of keywords that you can search by. So zones is one of them. If I wanted to know all of the Oldham mounts, you could again search Oldham. Um, if I wanted to know Island Expedition mounts, you can search Island, Island Expedition, and that's gonna pull up all the Island Expedition mounts. I do that a fair bit. You just gotta kind of have a feel for which keywords are gonna work because not all of them do. <laughs> Hazel shaking down people. Watch my videos. <laughs> Have you seen your <sighs> horrific vision tips? You done your horrific visions yet? Yeah, no, I'd rather just have it available on the shelf if you need it, that kind of thing. 30 attempts in Hellord Ren now. I mean, I did used to, when I first, first, first started my YouTube channel back in 2013, before I was doing WoW videos, I was doing Let's Plays. 
and commonly accepted wisdom among budding Let's Players at the time was that you had to advertise your videos. You needed to find communities that would be interested in your Let's Plays and then go link them there. So in forums, in um, Reddit, for example, you would like link your videos in those places, which won't get you terribly far, especially with something like a Let's Play, because let, <laughs> some random person that's like like scrolling through the escapist forums is probably not in the mood to watch a 12 minute video about somebody playing Don't Starve. Um, it's unlikely to work, but at the time I was just trying anything because when you're first starting YouTube, it's incredibly hard to get any eyes in your video at all. And the algorithm won't do you any good until it has some data to work with. So it's really hard for new, for new YouTubers. Uh, when you got started on YouTube, how did you go about getting views and traction? I have a stubborn allergy to actively advertising. One can't just do nothing. On topic. So what eventually ended up working for me, and this may not work for everybody, was trying to sniff out a niche where there was a desire for videos that either didn't exist or there weren't that many of them, like a low competition niche, and then targeting the ever-loving life out of it with search engine optimization. So the way that SEO is done has changed a lot over the years, but basically making use of the correct keywords with the correct density without just keyword stuffing. You don't want to cheat. That'll get you flagged. But um, making use of the correct keywords and, and understanding the correct ones to target to put you in search and to put you in recommended for that kind of query. So I first got some traction with my... I started doing pet battle guides because pet battles had just come out. I started making videos in mob pet battles were brand new and there weren't that many YouTube video guides at the time. So I started making guides and just by tagging them with the name of the pet tamer, the name of the quest and stuff like that was able to get my videos in search. So when somebody would be looking for that pet guide, they would, it would come up. Um, I also used the same principle on originally I reviewed indie games. I would get cheap codes or um, I would like humble bundles and stuff like that. And I would make videos reviewing or giving first impressions of an indie game. And I would, I would go for like really unknown ones so that there wouldn't be that much competition. Because if you're competing for views with like Markiplier and you're brand new, you're not getting anywhere. You need to, you need to start, you don't need to, but it worked for me to start small in a more contained niche where you have a chance of actually getting rated. When I first started, 70, 80% of my views were search. Um, that's no longer true. And once you get your feet off the ground, you'll end up with more traffic from recommended and you'll end up with more traffic from people's homepages and stuff. But that won't work unless you have a few people watching to begin with, which they usually need a reason. People have no reason to take a, to take a jump on a brand new YouTuber. So it's helpful if you're offering them some information that they're looking for to begin with. That's why guides are such a good in road and also i just like making guides the other thing that you need is you need to make good videos which is easier said than done especially when you're new but um i like to think that there's like a critical mass of amount of times that somebody will just kind of see you around before they like finally click in and look through your stuff because i imagine that somebody that like found a pet guide in 2013 they probably weren't like instantly a lifelong hazel Nandy games fan but if you know two years later they found another guide that was talking about falcosaurs and another year later they found another guide about the bee mount they're like hey that voice is familiar then assuming that i helped them well in all three of those videos across five different years they might at that point go look through my channel page to see if there's anything else i do they might end up at the stream and there you go uh <laughs> late vision tips watch do you know if the new character creation pose changes over to your do you know if the new character creation pose changes carry over to your character list i don't but that's a good question do the first couple quests accept a titanic problem that's as far as you need to go okay yeah that's probably gonna be worth doing <laughs> if i depending on how long it takes me to get these mounts if i can farm them on the five mounts or on the five characters that already have cloaks i may as well do that but if um like if i'm gonna come back into this again on another stream then it might be nice to have like 10 12 characters that are ready to kill these rares uh, my very first youtubes are still up i didn't private anything um, i think the only videos that i ever took down were the wolf among us playthrough because telltale claimed them and I just didn't want to have to deal with any copyright issues. So my Telltale game Let's Plays are gone, but everything else is still up. <laughs> They're all pretty bad. Anything very early is indicative of my, you know, editing skill and presenting skill at the time. 
which is not something that grows very quickly. And indeed, I still find my current content incredibly cringeworthy. I don't think I'm ever going to get to a point in my life where I watch a video and I go, that was pretty good. I don't think that's ever happening. And Aru, thank you very much for the brand new sub. Welcome to the Squirrel Squad. Uh, Cat is sitting on top of my lap intently watching Joker. Found your channel while rating for tactics. Think your videos are easier to understand. I remember thinking she has pretty hair and I've watched since then. Oh man, I gotta... I should give my, my hairstylist a commission for that. Vegas induced the futon on me. Took a dive with Premier. Feel over my head, but I have so many ideas I need to extract from myself before they drive me nuts. Limited brain capacity. Keep a running list, or at least that's what I do, is I keep a running Google Doc of categorized video ideas. So if, if one of them just comes up, if something comes up and I'm like, oh, that might be a good idea, even if I think it's a terrible idea, I'll still stick it in the list. And then whenever a new week comes up and I'm like, oh, I don't know what videos I'm making, I'll go back to that list and figure out, are any of these, do they make sense for this week? Do I have enough info to do them? Et cetera, et cetera. Um, because you're never, gonna, you're never gonna keep it all in your head. There's no way. Uh, why did Telltale claim them? They just did that back in the day. I feel like they, this was a long time ago before, I would say 2013, 14, 15, a lot of companies were still figuring out whether or not they wanted to allow Let's Plays, especially for something like a Telltale game where there's very little, like it's watching a Telltale playthrough would have been a lot like watching a movie and they might've wanted, they might've perceived that that would take away from sales of the game. Whereas for something like WoW, um, you know, making WoW content, if anything, will encourage people to play WoW. I think there's probably not very many people that say, I don't need a WoW sub because I can just watch WoW streams. I'm sure those people would not have had a sub anyways, you know, in the absence of the streams. But yeah, that's a, that's old and, old and gone, especially because I think Telltale's gone now as well. Bloodborne with Hazel was fun. Was it? I don't remember much about that one. How long did it take you to get an alt through the cloak quest line? So supposedly you don't need to do the whole cloak, the whole cloak quest line in order to unlock these rares, is what people are saying. You don't need to do the whole thing. I have so far done the whole thing and it takes me about two hours per character, two, maybe two and a half if I'm being really slow, per character to do, oh, I should probably uh, be flying in the air, to do the cloak quest line. And that is with skips. That is with all of the skips that are available because there's no real rushing through the assault. I guess if you got into a group to help you get through that first assault, um, I think the assaults on fresh characters take me quite some time. Lots of guides online. Ability to clarify and summarize with key points. Highlighted or good, love your guides, and then end up a squirrel. Uh, Telltale's gone. Didn't they dissolve? I thought the Telltale Games is gone. Um, Telltale Games, there was some weird stuff going on uh american video game developer let's see are they are they around they had a majority studio closure in 2018 the skeleton crew finished specific obligations such as minecraft story mode they filed for assignment. They were acquired by LCG, who revived the Telltale name in 2019. So they're still around, but they've been basically bought. Um, and it's hard to say how many of the same people are still there. But they're, they, they, the company is around still, I guess. I was mistaken. I thought they'd completely gone under. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, boyfriend and I have been thinking about streaming. Wow, Animal Crossing games such as that lately, but we have absolutely no clue how to begin. I mean, to start streaming, all you really need is a computer. Um, you need a good internet connection, or at least a, a half decent one. Check your upload speed. If you have less than 10 megs up, then you can do it, but it's going to be kind of tough. Um, if you have at least 10 megs up, that's a good place to start. <sighs> and then OBS is free. Um, I have a beginner's guide to OBS. It's a bit old, but should still be valid on my YouTube channel. OBS is free. Get yourself set up with that. You don't even need a camera to start. A micro microphone would be good, but... Um, I would just say start first and work out the details as you go because it's much easier to kind of make a list of things as you come across them than trying to figure out everything from the start because you're never going to figure out everything from the start. Um, I have been streaming for a handful of years now and I every day there's something new that breaks and I <laughs> don't know why. Uh, Game of Thrones was good. Someone remember the name of the add-on that cleans up minimap buttons. Minimap button bag. You can find it by searching MBB. I would really love to get one more Onda kill in. 
assuming that we can find him up. We got some other people camping, so maybe he hasn't been up for a bit on this server. <laughs> Beat Hazel and Lux to that one, you did. Uh, best add-on for tracking DPS. There was a few of them and they all seem to work just fine. I really like details. Um, details is what I use. It has a lots of details, for lack of a better word. But it's just, you know, real customizable, pretty easy to use. I like that it lets me set my nickname so that if I wanted to be not Avalyn in this character, if I wanted other details users to just see me as Hazel on the meters, I can go into the settings and I can change my nickname. You can also choose an avatar, but I could just change my nickname and save that. And then any damage I do is going to be marked as Hazel on the meter after that, if I reset it. Um, and then did some damage, presumably. Yeah, there, there I am. Anybody else that also has details will see that reflected. We had a memorable raid. I don't know which one it was, but we had some raid or another where everybody in the private guild that was were details users kept changing their names to really goofy things like pull to pull. So you didn't know who anybody was, but they had very funny names. Uh, Sean Waharo, thank you very much for the five month reset. Appreciate it. Streamed a bit, but you plan an ultra wide and couldn't stand that you can't get OBS to scale the screen. Oh yeah, I that sounds like a nightmare. <laughs> that sounds. People often recommend that I try an ultra wide monitor because it does sound fun. But um, just the sheer, <laughs> I, I, I have enough grief in my life just with monitors of different sizes and resolutions. Different aspect ratios sounds like just one step too many for me. I love that these have enough health that I'm, most of the time, at least, it's not dead right when I get in. Jackery, thank you very much for the vids. First time catching a stream. Love your vids. Cheers. Uh, streamed a bit. Oh, yeah, I read that one. Uh, pouring myself some Fruit Loops. I only have two hands. I haven't seen, ow, oh, oh. Well, um, at least it wasn't just me. Maybe somebody will res. I'm just going to stay right here. I think I'll still get loot. Maybe nobody will res. Maybe I need to run back. Oh, you, you res right here. <laughs> All right, well, I do have loot. I did not get them out, but that was attempt number seven. That's something. Uh, worth knowing, <laughs> I'm apparently squishy. I must've stood in something. I didn't, I didn't quite look. I once changed my details name to bad at magic because I play mage, didn't do great DPS. I had to change it because the joke got a bit too real. Oh dear. Oh no. All right. If we can find a Holly group, I don't know if we're gonna 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 get one. Get uh, some advertisements out. Holly up, off. Presumably war mode off. Is it too good to be true? So fast. So very fast. This one doesn't say if it's war mode off. I wonder why it's saying prot. I must have that checked somewhere. I don't see it up. There's somebody well above me here. Uh, yeah, no, that's, that's not it. Tough luck. <laughs> Do better mage DPS nowadays, for the record. Finally got all my veil mounts. All of them are on 60 attempts. Kind of interesting. Okay. That sounds a bit unlucky. But I can't... <laughs> I can't say that my experience is particularly representative either. I got the Ivory Cloud Serpent the other day. Super excited about it. Hard to know whether to mount up on it or my friendly alpaca. Uh, no fly zones or BFA content. I mean, I would I would just fly on the cloud serpent and then use the alpaca for ground stuff. Cloud serpents on the ground is a is a tough one for me. Um, you just never know where your feet are because you don't have any. Well, they have feet. They don't use them though. <laughs> Finally, in the nice spot. All right, let's see if I can not die. That would be great. This is going to be attempt number nine on Holly. And the last one of the day as well. What a nice stream this has been. I had a really nice time. 
It is so warm. <laughs> it is uh, 80 degrees in here. You can't tell, but I'm, I'm, I'm doing a, I'm doing a pretty good sweat. Oh, I got ice cubes in my water bottle though. The nice thing about the insulated water bottles is that they keep water pretty cold. It's not, it's summertime, so I don't really worry too much about my tea getting cold. But I saw somebody recommending on a podcast desktop mug warmers to like keep a cup of tea warm through to the end of the cup of tea. And while another thing, ow, 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 to plug into my desk sounds like a mistake, it was also kind of intriguing to me. No luck there. I got some Black Empire boots. I don't see anybody else getting it that time either. Oh, no, somebody did. How do you did? Somebody in the group did. Oh, that's good. <laughs> At least somebody's happy. All right. Is that the Alabaster Griffin? Yeah. Um, I ended up just... <laughs> I ended up just getting it digitally. Um, the the 15th anniversary collector's edition looked very nice, but it also looked very big. And I was and kind of still am in my Marie Kondo phase of not keeping things just to be things if they don't make you super happy. And you know what makes me happy is having the mount in the game and not having the box in my in my closet. So uh, I just I just uh, skipped the box and then bought it, bought the bought the mount on the shop. Uh, what's the point of getting into a group for these? People will list groups when they have spawns up because otherwise you have to wait to find a spawn in your own server so you can kill it much faster. You can find it faster if you can get into a group where somebody already has it up. That's, that's the draw there. I'm going to leave this character out here, I suppose. And then tomorrow, um, I don't see why I can't take another five characters through just those two rares. It probably won't even take all stream. And then maybe like a little Ashak action. That might be kind of fun. I had, this, this, was, this was so fun. You guys have such good taste in voting in polls. Um, there we are. I have one of those mug warmers. I honestly never saw a difference. Jump back in your priest. Try for Ishak. Start the day with a mount. End with one. I gotta go. I'm, I'm about out of time. Look at this kitty cat. Um, I will be back tomorrow, though. Tomorrow afternoon. Same time. Same place. Probably same activity. Probably not the same luck. You know, there. it has to end somewhere. But thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate it greatly. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day.